Hello everyone, my name is Franklin Vivray and welcome to Painting Toward Happiness. Now today we're going to be painting a landscape from this photograph. Now I'll just tape it to my easel. There we go, you get to hang out right there for the whole show. Okay, now I'll just mix my colors here. We're going to start with the sky. There we go. That looks sky enough for me. Let's start the painting. There we go. Oh, look at that. Just comes to life immediately. Oh my God. Nothing's better than painting a nice blue American sky. Now, normally I prefer to paint landscapes outdoors from observation, uh, plein air style, as they say. Um, but after the Hurricane Sandy incident, I can't really afford to damage another camera. And besides, uh, Art has made considerable leaps and bounds over the past several years, and it's perfectly acceptable to paint from photographs. Perfectly acceptable. No one will judge you harshly. Now, to be a painter takes great sensitivity. We have to pay extra attention to those things that normal people just gloss over. You know, that, that profound beauty in the everyday that regular people just ignore because they're either tragically ignorant or they're simply stupid. You know, and I'm sure a lot of you out there have people like that in your lives, you know. Um, people with very negative energy that like to assault you with their harsh words or project their doubt onto you and they say things like, Franklin, how did you not know a hurricane was coming? It was all over the news. Well, I don't watch television news. Nature is my news. There we are. There we go. Now let's mix our land colors now. Got to get those lush rolling hills, the right verdant green. The green of Gaia. There we go. And that looks pretty good to me. I think we're ready to roll. Let's start this baby. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh my. You guys excited too? Don't you just feel at peace while we're painting? You know, all those trivial things that distract us in our everyday lives is just, you know, just melts away. You know, painting, painting is just it, man. It's just it. You know, I've heard some people say that painting is dead. <laughs> How could painting be dead? As long as the trees still sing, as long as the sky still sings, as long as the ocean still sings, as long as planet Earth still sings, the painter, me and you, we have to be there to capture the notes of Mother Nature onto canvas. That is our job. That was pretty deep, actually. Wow. Don't afraid to get sloppy at home. Can always clean up later. You know, people who think that painting's dead, they must be the type of people that like art museums. Have you been to an art museum recently, viewer? You know, I was on vacation in New York City, which is the first mistake, I must admit. But I went to an art museum while I was there. And when I got there, there was a woman sleeping in a glass box in the lobby of the museum. She was surrounded by throngs of excited onlookers. Huh, it's just simply mind-blowing. And the paintings they did have in that museum, well, you know, let's just say it's not my place to insult the work of other artists, but that modern art stuff is, it's just garbage. It's undebatable, it's just garbage. Um, I don't know how we could have gone from the divine inspiration of the Sistine Chapel to what passes for art nowadays. You know, it just blows my mind. Um, and you know me, viewer, I definitely blame a lot of modern ills on Kafka. Teenagers just shouldn't read his work. There we are. Okay, the land has shaped up quite nicely. And I know that your land at home is looking, if not as good as this, almost as good as this. Now the last thing we have to do is add the tree to the painting and we're done. So let's get into the tree. Guys ready? Great. 
don't have to really do much here. We just have to add a little bit of a dark green here. There we are. There we go. It's, this is the best part. This is where the real freedom of being an artist just, just manifests itself. There we are. Oh my god, it almost looks like Bob Marley, doesn't it? If he was uh, made of sea moss. You know, to make an ideal painting, you need uh, something that's, you know, centrally focused, uh, an anchor of sorts, um, to keep the viewer's eyes from meandering all over the uh, canvas. And that's why I picked this photograph, because of that luscious, luscious tree. That's dead center. You know, it allows the viewer to roam the world you've created on canvas. But you know, if they wanted to take a little break and bring their eyes back to the center of the canvas for some respite, they have that wonderful tree to look at. There we go. Got that brown in there for the tree. Not too picky on what kind of brown this is. I don't even know. Just, there we go. Look at that. Add some more, that brown's a little bit runny. Oops, there we go. Real expressive. And there it is. Our masterpiece is done. Do you guys like what you made at home? Good. Um, now, the painting might not look exactly like the photograph, but that's okay, because painting is about feeling, and there's no wrong way to paint a feeling. Um, and that wraps it up for this week. Um, if you'd like to, you can send me an electronic mail message at franklinlovestopaint at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from all of you out there. And, you know, send me some uh, pictures of what you made. Bye.